As some of you guys know out there, I love the Nintendo Switch. It's one of my favorite consoles of all time. I play this thing many hours every single day, sometimes more than others. Sometimes it's a complete binging spree. On most days, I definitely do get to play at least an hour or two, sometimes more than that. Needless to say, I love this thing. Whether I'm playing on the dock on the big TV or whether I'm just walking around my house, walking around outside, out in my backyard, front porch, back porch, sometimes in the car, sometimes I bring it with me to weird places and just decide to play for a little bit. I play the Nintendo Switch. Now when it comes to tabletop mode, I do tend to play it just a little bit less. I guess the reason is that whether I'm sitting at a table or at a desk, I'm just as easy and better off to just sit here and kind of hold it like this. And it makes more sense than to usually take off the Joy-Cons, flip the little crappy kickstand, which we all know is just completely almost useless. It just barely works. It just barely gets the job done. And I will just sit here and play sitting like this or lean back in a chair or with my feet up, however have you. Maybe sometimes the tablet is just sitting on my shoes like this. And maybe sometimes I'll just browse the eShop while checking out my sneakers. So regardless of whether playing in the dock, handheld mode with Joy-Cons attached or taking the Joy-Con off and setting it down on the kickstand, there's many ways to play the Nintendo Switch. So in order to boost up the amount that I actually played in tabletop mode, I went ahead and I purchased this. Now, I've had this for a little while. This is the Power A Compact Metal Stand Super Mario Edition. As you can see here, it's got Mario branding on both the sides of the box and on the stand itself. We're gonna go ahead and open it. First off, it comes off with a kind of cool but sort of dusty, well, it kind of already touched the floor, but whatever. But it's a pretty nifty Nintendo Switch carrying case for this stand, and it's made out of velvet, which I don't really like that. Ugh. I don't really like that feel. But so here we have the Super Mario stand. You can see that's not really supposed to be that shiny. It's supposed to be a little bit more flat, and it is. You can kind of hear the sound to it. But it's nice, anodized, and red. And it's Mario. So this is how much flippity dippity action you have for this thing. It extends all the way out like this. You could do many kind of odd setups with this thing. So I'm gonna cut the camera here and show you just the kind of angles and setup that you can get out of this thing. So as you can see here, we got the stand and you just go ahead and plop your Nintendo Switch into it and then you adjust it to your desired angle. So you can have it even just something ridiculous like this if your kickstand isn't working, or you can go ahead and heighten it and have it a little bit more straight on. You can kind of get it flat before this thing wants to kind of dump out, but it does have the little rubber feet here. Add a little bit of pressure pushing down on it and it'll kind of grip it a little bit better. It does have these solid rubber feet on the bottom. And as you can see that this thing barely wants to go anywhere. The stand itself, is quite it's quite heavy it's hefty it's beefy it'll do the job so you can see here i can pretty much just go into fire emblem three houses video have tea with whatever her face is and just kind of sit back and enjoy now i do put this thing sometimes on the kitchen table or sometimes on a desk if i want to play with my joy cons detached it definitely works much better for multiplayer where if you have a couple people around the Nintendo Switch, it actually sort of makes sense to do it this way if for whatever reason you don't have a dock. And the best thing about this accessory is when it comes time to actually charge it because normally you have this port on the bottom. So with the kickstand, it's just not an option. You can't use the kickstand and plug it in at the same time. It is just not feasible. So that's what this stand is made for if you're somebody that's going to be playing in tabletop mode and wants this to be charging at the same time that is when this item is going to actually be useful for you so you see here we are plugging it in and just simply putting it in the stand so you have plenty of room here plenty of clearance for the cable you can wire it through the back and wire it underneath that works just as well and then there you go you can set it at just about any angle if you're got a bunch of people circled around and you're kind of looking straight down on top of this thing that would work you can get any degree from pretty much so that is your stand 
So if you're just somebody that just likes to play in tabletop mode and not necessarily handheld mode, or like I said, if you're going multiplayer and taking the Joy-Con off or having a pro controller, and you have a couple people standing around the system. At this point, this is when something like this makes sense. Now for me, I don't really have any friends, so I don't play many multiplayer games. A lot of the stuff that I play is single player with myself, so no crowd around the Nintendo Switch itself. Well, now that my Switch just fell off the desk, we're going to go ahead and finish <laughs> this video off. But yes, I do play my Switch from time to time in the bathtub, and I will put this thing on a stand or use a kickstand, and now that I have this, I will more than likely be using this. And I know what you're thinking to yourself, that I'm completely crazy for trying to take an electronic device like this into the bathtub. And you're right, I am. That is completely ridiculous, but that is what I do. No judgment here. I definitely encourage anybody out there to go ahead and do the same but i won't take the switch in the water with me so that's why a stand like this is great for something just like that so that is just a quick look at the power a nintendo switch compact metal stand with mario nice anodized look to it like i said it looks shiny here but actually it's got a sort of flat kind of texture to it at least but the shine is still coming through, at least on the video. So you got the Mario graphics. You have Mario jumping out of the pipe. So pretty nice overall, especially if you can get this item on discount. Maybe you can look at your local Target or something like Amazon. So guys, that's all for me. Just a quick video showing off one more Nintendo Switch accessory that just might be right for you. Let me know in the comments below if you play actually in tabletop mode often, or if you had an item like this, if you would actually use it, or if it's just not for you. Don't forget to slap the like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.